Welcome to a guide to new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Friday the 20th of December and we have new mods. Now we have had mods over the last couple of days. Uh, seasons dropped, I put out some Seasons videos and then there's been family things and stuff, you know, so the run up to Christmas, shopping and various different things I've to do. So I haven't done mod reviews for the last two days. I have, I'm not intending to go back and retrospectively review the mods that came over the last two days. Um, I have done it in the past, then people complain and say these mods are out of date now, they've been out a few days, what's the point? So I'm going to do the mod review for today, these dropped fairly early as well and we have some phenomenal, personally, awesome mods because I've been waiting for them. Um, that's just me personally, you may not agree with that, that's entirely up to you. First off we've got a liquid fertiliser tank and a herbicide tank, these are by Nick Sarko. Um, the fertiliser tank is 5 slots, the herbicide tank is 7 slots. Uh, they are buy points, they're not storage tanks. These are a separate mods, they're not actually, they don't come together as such, but they are by the same mod, so I thought I'd put them next to each other. Um, they place fairly well, fairly close to each other as well. Um, as far as prices goes, people will always say, well, how much does it cost? That The problem with that is that's all relative, it depends on the size of the the thing you're filling, it depends, there are so many placeables and mods out there and there's the in-game fertiliser and seed pallets and to try and compare them all against each other now with so many in-game is almost impossible um, but you can buy your seed, uh, your seed, your fertiliser and your herbicide from these tanks you'll find them under placeables I think they're under miscellaneous if I remember correctly been going through getting various mods so the larger of the two is the liquid fertiliser tank at 9,850, that's five slots to place. The herbicide tank is 8,500 and that was um, seven slots to place. Like I say, they're fairly easy, straightforward to place, not a problem at all. Um, and it will always be a case of finding different ways of either getting the cheapest fertiliser and herbicide you can, or people will pick them depending on whether they suit a map they're using or something like that. Um, but they're very nice, nice tidy mods sit on their base, nice detail, texturing, all the li little bits added in for dirt and things like that, very nice indeed. Okay, moving on to the next of our mods for today. We've got this, this is the Joskin Wago ST8000 D12, this is by, I think it's Frabel, Frabel LS Modding, um, it's a bale trailer, it comes standard with these, um, oh my mind's gone blank, Creels, yeah, the creels folded down. It does have straps which you can either do from the tractor all together or you can obviously do manually, which you can do with most bale trailers now. It's not an auto load trailer, it's a standard trailer. That's what it says in the tin. You put your bales on it and you're good to go. Uh, this you'll find under baling technology. Wago ST8000 D12, 9500 to buy, uh, it's only 5 slots, options available, you can have it with the extension, the creels, and they come like that, flat down, and then you just press, I think it's L1 and X, and it raises them up, or you can have them without the extensions, depending on it, what it is you want to put on there, um, are those are your options for the Joskin Wago ST8000 D12. It's a nice mod. Moving on. These, I think, are going to make a massive difference. If you're into your login, if you like doing your login, uh, and sometimes on whatever map you're on, you might find that the lumber yard saw mill is a long way away from where you want it to be. Um, I know there are some dedicated logging maps. You might decide you want to put another logging point in. Um, this is the Small Wood Cell Station by Top Ace 888, and you can place the log point and the wood chip points separately, you don't have to place them together, they are, for all intents and purposes, separate mods. The detail on this is absolutely brilliant. It's got a fairly high slot count, but that's going to come down to the detail on it. There is loads of detail on this. The cell point works just the same as any other cell point for lumber. You bring your lumber or on a trade or whatever, go over to the point there, click on it, and it sells. I mean, it's fairly straightforward, and the same with the wood chips. Back up, tip on, and you've got your cell point. You find these in placeables. I think this was miscellaneous as well. 
there we go so the small wood selling station that says minus two it's because i already placed one that is actually 29 slots for the first one you place the small wood chip selling station actually only says one slot so that's 29 that's one um as for what prices you get that's a good point actually let's have a look and see in our menu if it's been added in small wood chip selling station there we go so once you've placed it it will put it in scroll across it'll give you a price for your wood chip oh it never gives price for lumber does it so whether it's equitable now that price will obviously rise and fall you know with other sell points and you'll get great demands and things like that so that's the wood ship but the actual log one yeah you don't ever get a price for lumber do you the sawmill on the map will only ever give you a price for wood chip not lumber so yeah i'm not sure how equitable it is to i mean i assume it's going to be a standard price the mod is generally speaking a pretty good at that kind of thing um moving on behind us we have got this is the wood cow husbandry by nico pixies there are two cow sheds each one will take 45 um animals um you've got one which is a new kind of just new built cow shed and then you've got the same one but in a kind of more old used it's been around a little while the wood's a bit faded that kind of thing the faded one is 15 slots the new one is 11 slots again that's only relevant if you're on console if you're on pc slots it's not relevant whatsoever uh, around the sides here we've got a buy point buy sell load or unload of your animals feed trough at the front we've got a water trough over in the corner over here Now, I don't know, I'm just thinking, actually, for bedding, might be this end, might be across the front for straw, because it doesn't seem obvious where that is. I'm assuming the manure comes out here. A lot of the mods that are coming out lately don't actually have a bunker. That's the only place I can find, because the other end is the um, slurry point. And obviously, with cows, you're going to need your milk. So, that's why I'm kind of, kind of assuming... Your milk is at this end. Because you've got your buy your animals that end, your food trough there, water trough inside. I can't think that would be the unload point for the water trough, because the manure's got to go somewhere. Um, but there you go, nice, neat mods, good textures. I personally, it's just a personal preference, I prefer the older looking one actually. It does look like a bit kind of weathered wood lightened in the sun that kind of thing don't know just as personal preference um you'll find these under animal pens price isn't too bad either they don't hold a lot of cows to be fair um like i say 45 on each which isn't a huge amount Thirty-six thousand four hundred to buy which isn't too bad at all it's just you know if we look at the other cow ones the standard cow enclosures the cow pasture that does 50 is a hundred thousand and the large one that does 200 is three hundred thousand. so in all honesty, yeah, price-wise, pretty good. There's no actual pasture with it. The animals are in the inside, but um, there you go. Next of our mods for today, we have got over here. This is the placeable farm silo. This is by Rowley Christie One. Um, this is a farm silo. It will hold your standard crops. Your drop-off point is in there. Your collection point is just at the other end here. It's quite a large one fairly large footprint not massive um this is not a multi-fruit silo it's a standard silo um obviously this is under silos there we go uh seven slots to place not too bad 95 grand which isn't that expensive either and it holds 550,000 liters that's a massive capacity for the price like i say the only small con possibly it depends how you look at it is it's not a multi-fruit silo but there are plenty of multi-fruit silo mods and stuff about anyway but i just think for the price and the capacity like i say put that into perspective the in-game ones for the small grain silo i know it's 100 only takes a hundred thousand liters is 110 grand so for cheaper money you're getting five times the capacity so uh yeah it's not bad that like it very nice indeed 
And so, potentially the mods you have been waiting for. I know these are the mods I've been waiting for. These were special edition mods that came out for Agrotechnica. Giants were tweeting all the way through Agrotechnica. You could go around the Agrotechnica show and you could get little cards from different stalls and it would give you a code to download these on PC. The Christmas gift over the last four weeks was they started releasing those mods out through the Mods Hub. These are both made by Giants. I've seen one of these in real life. I've got a model of one. I absolutely love it. I think it looks brilliant. The Axion 930 960 Terra Tracks. The same 3D model Terra Tracks we've got on the Lexion. Um, oh, wow. It's a beautiful thing. That's a personal preference. I, I just think it's a lovely looking tractor. It's not everyone's cup of tea. Um, oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> really detailed. Lovely, lovely mod. Fairly heavy on the slot count. Um, it's one of those weird things with Giants. I'm not sure. A lot of the modders out there seem to be able to tweak things and do things. And you can get very detailed mods. Uh, uh, an acceptable slot count, I guess is the best way of putting it. Giants, ones that come out, a lot of the John Deere stuff and the class stuff had very, very high slot counts. Um, they are detailed, but then a lot of mods are. Um, this runs at 39 slots for the first one. And the only options available are between the 930 and the 960. There are no other options available. You'll find this under large tractors. There you go. 960, 930 Terra Track. 355 grand for the base model. 445 horsepower is the highest it will go up to. Um, so you can have it the 930 Terra Tracks at 355 horsepower. Or you can have it the 960 Terra Track for an extra 35 grand. You get 445 horsepower. Plenty of oomph. No slouch. Great for ground compaction and traction and all those lovely things that tracks do. Very cool. So, let's hop in it and fire it up. It sounds, to be fair, it sounds like the other Axiom models we got in the... Uh, the Platinum Expansion class pack, but... Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. I was so hoping, when I first saw this Agritechnica, the real one, and obviously the cards for the PC, I thought, I really hope this comes to console. And uh, they, obviously, they had every intention, I think, of doing it. Beacons. Front lights, rear work lights, main work lights. Indicators as usual, but what I like inside, as with a lot of the class models we've got recently, uh, if we turn the lights on, through the cycle, then off again, if we go up to here, you've got the tractor model there, lights on, shows you the front lights, rear work lights, main work lights, and we've also got the beacon light that comes on the top, I like that, it's a nice feature. So if you're in cab, you can tell whether you've left it on or not, and what light settings you're on without having to keep coming out and checking turn them all off away you go but uh yeah very cool the other thing i'm surprised a little bit with giants is that um like i say a lot of the mods out there that run at this kind of slot count up and around 30 and above have opening and closing doors windows that kind of thing and that's kind of how you justify the slot counts these don't the ones from giants generally speaking don't have um opening windows and doors but i like this have i mentioned that i might have done <laughs> So there you go, that's the uh, class action 960, 930, 930, 960, however you want to look at it. Very cool. And then we've got this. There were a few videos that got put, uh, put out around Agrotechnica time showing various different things. And this was on one of them for the Kemper pack. Um, and it showed this being run with a Kemper header on it. And straight away everyone was saying, when are we getting the John Deere? Well, we've got it. This is the John Deere Forage Harvester. Another lovely detailed mod. I love the chunky wheels on this. I'm not particularly a John Deere fan. I've said this many times before. I'm a fan of aesthetics and look. And I, I like certain looks in vehicles. And I, I like appreciating machinery and that kind of thing. Probably why I like the game so much. John Deere or not, it's a nice looking forage harvester. So, what do we have available in this? Well... Under Forage Harvesters, uh, which is just there. 
scroll across we've got the 9000 series john deere 361000 uh, this will also run you 39 slots so fairly high on the slot count um, options available we can have a middle pipe that length we can have a long pipe which folds up at the back or we can have a short pipe under tire options we can have michelins or mitres if i go back to that and then down again we can have the uh, 9700 at 770 horsepower, the 9800 at 870 horsepower, or the 9900 at 970 horsepower. Bit of a beast. All of that changed. I oh, mind you, I've got the short pipe. If I go for the long pipe, 419 grand, about 419 and a half um, to buy that. Now, with that, we've got the header situation, and I need to scroll across here forage harvester headers now this is a bit weird because in the mod hub it says that you've got the 390 plus john deere header it also says because it's called the kemper pack um the kemper headers well i've got nothing else under mods there and these kemper headers i thought we had these as standard didn't we in the game it will work with these, I know that. And there's the New Holland version as well. And that's what it says in the mod hub. But even if I go under Kemper, those are the ones that are in game. There's no modded ones that have popped up. So I don't know if they're just saying the John Deere will work with them. There wasn't a separate mod to download for that. Um, but this one's got the John Deere uh, version of the Kemper header on it. The 390 plus. 9 meter let's jump in let's fold the header up puts all the protection plates and transport stuff on it when you do that fantastic pipe in, folds it all up again nice smooth animations like that Beacons, front lights, which are kind of hidden. Actually, what we're doing, let's just click that. Rear lights, main work lights. Don't know if there's one on the pipe. Can't really tell. Potentially. Oh, hang on. Another cycle. There we go. Just saw him come on. So work lights, rear work lights, main work lights, and then on the pipe here. Yeah, we have got them on the pipe as well. Fantastic. I always like the uh, New Holland FR850 and the 750. Because they had a kind of chunky sort of quality to them. I just like that. This is the same. Those big wide wheels on it. Sounds good. Looks good. Nice styling, because off, lights off. In cab, there's nothing light wise. The lights do come on, but if you put the beacons on, there's nothing that shows up as beacons being on. Control column moves forward as you accelerate, moves back as you slow down. If you brake, it comes right back and goes into reverse mode. Horn. Oh, that's interesting. Whoa, that's a different horn sound. Ooh. Something a bit different, isn't it? I do like this. Like I say, I'm not, I'm not necessarily what you would consider a John Deere fan, but... That's a nice looking mod, that. A nice model. Very cool. Actually, I need to check the horn on this. It's probably a bit of a peep peep one, but... Whoa! Okay. That's not that little Thomas the Tank Engine. And it's not quite as deep and throaty as the uh, lorry horns. Oh, very nice indeed. Well, there we go. That's it. What a nice, what a nice way to round off Friday. Nice Christmas present from Giants. These two. Um, I know a lot of the support staff at Giants are on their Christmas holidays, so not everyone's in. There's not a lot of support staff in. I don't know if we're going to get mods next week leading up to Christmas Day. 
um, or whether these were dropped specifically because they're not going to be putting out. I don't know. I couldn't say for definite. But these are a nice way to round off the week. I do like them. Very cool. There we go. Um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.